very warm welcome to our biology class today in this class we are going to start with cell theory before uh, start with the syllabus i would like to request you all if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and press the bell button and select all so that you can get the notification for all uploaded videos today in this class we are learning regarding the cell theory but before that let us recap what we learned in the previous video students we were not know till to the 16th century how the living organisms are made up of in the year of 1665 one of the scientist robert hook has discovered cell for the first time he was actually designing his own microscope and he observed the dead tissue of the plant and first time he discovered the cell then in the year of 1674 one more scientist and then van leeuwenhoek has discovered living cell then we used to see that there is a very huge gap is there in the discovery in the year of 1831 one more scientist robert brown has discovered nucleus after that there are so many scientists have started to discover regarding the cell then two scientists together has proposed the cell theory we will understand that entire cell theory who proposed it what the cell theory says and how they have put forward that cell theory yes in the year of 1838 mathes scladen has he is from german he is a botanist yes do you know that what botanists are used to study they are the one who was studying on plants of course the scladen was also studying on the plants and after observing large number of plants he made one conclusion what conclusion he has made that plants are made by different kinds of cells and those cells are forming the tissues inside the plant that what the important conclusion the scladen has made in the year of 1838 then during the same time almost one more scientist theodore swan he is from britain he is a british zoologist in the year of 1839 he was studying on the animals as he has zoologist i think all of you know that zoologists are the one studying on the animals even he was also studying on the animals listen carefully now he studied on different kinds of animals sir why then you are showing only the dog over there just to represents the animal i have shown the dog like that number of other different kinds of animals he has studied as he is a zoologist he studied on the animals but remember that even he studied on different kinds of plants and the plant cells also after complete study on the animals and the plant cells he made certain discoveries what he has discovered one important conclusion he is saying that animal cells are had a outer thin layer that today we call it as a plasma membrane he was saying that there is a only plasma membrane on the as a outer layer in the animal cells as he was studying on the plant cells also because of that he is even able to give the one more conclusion that presence of the cell wall is a unique characteristics of all the plant cells 
most of the time this question is comes into the in the neat exam who told the presence of the cell wall is a unique characteristics of all the plant cells he is none other than the swan of course the skeleton was a botanist but he is not he is not concluded that presence of the cell wall is a unique characteristics of all the plant cells but the swan was a zoologist he proposed that he told that presence of the cell wall is unique characteristics of all the plant cells and finally he put forward the hypothesis that hypothesis says that bodies of animals and plants are composed by cells and product of cells students our body is just not made by the cells even rest of whatever the animals are there all their body is not made by the just cells but it is even made by some products of the cells for example our hairs they are not made by the cells they are the made by product of cells our nails they are not made by the cells but the product of the cells like that there are several such organs or tissues are there in our body they are made by the cells and the product of the cells yeah in that way entire body is made by the cells and the product of the cells even in animals and as well as the plants that is what the hypothesis put forward by the swan in the year of 1839 yes what the both the scientist says skeleton was german botanist he observed large number of plants and finally concluded that different kinds of cells are forming a tissues in the plants then one more scientist theodore swan he is from the britain and studied on different kinds of animals and as well as the plant cells finally made the conclusion that animal cells had a thin outer layer that what today we call it as a plasma membrane and even he made the one more conclusion that presence of the cell wall is a unique characteristics of all the plant cells and finally put forward at the hypothesis that all plants and animal cells are made by cells and the product of cells i listen now both these scientists together Skeleton and Swan together proposed cell theory in the year of 1839. What the cell theory says? All living organisms are composed by cells and product of cells. Now listen very carefully, students. What I am saying. That is what they become succeed to say that living organisms are composed of cells and product of cells. Whenever one of the question is asked to these scientists. about from where those cells are came into the body of organisms it may be the plant or it may be the animals from where all those cells are came from then they are failed to explain from where the new cells are comes from means of course see for example whenever you born by that time you were a very small kid your size your mass was very less but whenever you keep on growing by that time number of cells are increased even in your body of course right now also in your body is made by the cells but the scientist both the scientists are failed to explain from where those all the new cells are came into the body they become succeed to say that animals body is made by the cells and the product of the cells and even plants or body is also made by the cells and product of cells they become succeed to say that all living organisms are composed by the cells and product of cells but they fail to say that from where the new cells are comes from yes now see here the skeleton as well as swan both together put forwarded the theory that is called as cell theory and the according to the cell theory all living organisms are composed by the cells and product of the cells but they failed to say that from where the new cells are comes from that what the lacuna of cell theory then in the year of 1855 one more scientist rudolf virchow he was first to explain about the cell division 
and finally he said that uh, new cells are comes from pre-existing cells see whenever you born by that time some number of cells are there in your body those cells are only keep on dividing keep on dividing keep on dividing then uh, the new cells are forms inside your body by that your body is built up before your birth our journey has started in the form of single cell that what we call it as a zygote and that zygote is keep on dividing initially it divided by the cleavage and after certain structure formation so even the cells will keep on dividing keep on dividing then finally your entire body is made up of her but the division is keep on continuing and it is leads into your growth and your height. yes that was a real lacuna of the cell theory but the that lacuna is filled by the scientist rudolf ocho by saying that new cells are comes from pre-existing cells but he told in his own language right, as ominous cellula e cellula what does it mean it means that new cells are comes from pre-existing cells most of the time they will to ask the question in the neat exam who told ominous cellula e cellula he is none other than the Rudolf Virchow. Then finally, he has given the shape to the cell theory that what today we learn it as a modern cell theory. According to the modern cell theory, all living organisms are composed by the cells and product of the cells. This statement has given by two scientists, Scladden and Swan. And one more point is added to the cell theory by Rudolf Virchow saying that all cells are arise from pre-existing cells this is what about the cell theory i hope so students you are all understood about the cell theory even quickly we'll see that what exactly it is mentioned in the ncrt book also in the year of 1838 Mathis scladden is from german botanist and he examined large number of plants and observed that all plants are composed by different kinds of cells and those cells are forming the tissues inside the plant and about the same time means in the year of 1839 Theodore Swan British zoologist he studied on different kinds of animal cells and reported that cells are have a outer thin layer that today we call it as a plasma membrane then he also made the one more conclusion that based on the study of plant cells now he told that presence of the cell wall is a unique characteristics of all the plant cells on the basis of study Swan has only proposed the hypothesis that the body of animals and plants are composed by cells and product of cells. Then both these scientists together, Scladden and Schwann, they formulated the cell theory. But the cell theory was didn't explain the, how a new cells are formed, means from where the new cells are come from. Then in the year of 1855, Rudolf Virchow explained that cells divided and new cells are forms from the pre-existing cells but he told in his own language ominous cellula e cellula remember that point then finally he modified the cell theory given by the scladden and swan and proposed the modern cell theory according to the modern cell theory all living organisms are composed by the cells and the product of the cells. This statement has given by the two scientists, that is Scladden and Swan. And uh, one more point is added by the Rudolf Virchow. All cells are arise from the pre-existing cells. Thank you students. I hope you are all understood properly regarding the cell theory. Please comment on the video and uh, share it to your friends also. Thank you.